She really hates him. It's really true. Welcome, my wife hates me podcast. Button up your shirt a little. No, I don't feel like it. My wife hates me podcast. This is the last season. Well, until we're doing it, we're We're going to start something new. We don't. We haven't thought of a good name for it yet. Yeah. But I will say this. What will you say? Someone I worked with someone recently. Where? Um, Joey Cola. Very funny. And he said, "Oh, your podcast clips are so funny." He goes, "But I feel bad because Rich is always it's the reason people think that I'm a cunt." By the way, okay, two things. Okay, so. By the way. Yes, uh, yes, a cunt. That's good. Using language that you can understand. (laughs) Do you want to? What? Do something about that or no, you're fine? Uh, Let's see. Okay, so. So what are you saying? No, I meant not check your texts. Uh, I meant shut it off your computer so that it's not. I put my phone on airplane mode. All right, so go ahead. What were you saying? Sorry to interrupt at this point okay. in my career. Okay, so I was going to use the word harangued. The people think you're being harangued. But last time oh. I used that word, you lost your mind. But when I was having dinner with Tim Dillon, he used the word harangued. And I was like, oh, other people do use the word. And I told him the story. And he goes, no, that people use that word. Oh, if Tim Dillon says it's okay, it's okay. I mean, it's just one other person in the universe besides yourself. Well, I was having dinner with Matt Dillon, and he goes, I've never heard of it, so. Matt Dillon's dead. No, he isn't. To to you, maybe. Isn't he? Oh, no, I always get him mixed up with that other actor. Who? The guy who did the not smoking medication. He was in uh, Not Goodfellas. What's the other mob movie? Anyway, okay. Godfather? Maybe it was Goodfellas. What guy was dead from Goodfellas? He needed Shantix commercials. By the way, this is a game show Rich and I do every night where one of us goes, who's that? Or we try to figure out. Sometimes he'll call me. He'll be like, who's the person in the show that we we like? Uh, I mean, I need more information. You know, he was in the show with that other girl from the other show. And sometimes I get it. Sometimes I get it from that kind of, I mean, it's pretty wild. Well, who's the guy that died from Goodfellas? Probably not even Goodfellas. You're probably sending me in the wrong direction. Okay, but whatever. I know one direction. It was a Scorsese movie. Look it up. Okay, but I I got more to say. Shantix. Actor. Dead. Dead. Oh, there he is. Oh. Ray Liotta. He's not dead. He sure is. Ray Liotta's dead. Okay, no. Is that better? Is that helpful to you? I literally just looked it up. I look up, is Ray Liotta dead? <laughs> I don't think he is. What? Oh, that's sad. Died. Well, from when? From what? That don't matter. He's dead. All right. Okay. So the reason that people sometimes think that I'm being mean to you. It's because you're mean. According to Joey Cola. To Joey Cola. He goes, oh, I feel bad for him sometimes because he's like, he's just like, his head is down. He's hanging his head down. He's, you know, upset. I go, no, he's looking in the monitor. He's not upset at all. Do you understand what's happening? People don't realize you're just staring at yourself on the monitor. And so they see me looking at you, talking to you. Yeah. And then you're like this. Mm, that's what they're seeing. That's what Joey's seeing. You well, I think other people are probably seeing it. It's yeah, like, I can see your side of your breast, the side of it. What are you doing? Who cares? Well, then do it topless. Do it all. Okay, should I? No! Are you kidding me? You can take your breasts out if you want. People will screenshot it so quick. 
It'll be all over the internet. You look like one of those moms in in a porno. I know. I'm about to start my uh, the only fan. Yeah, you're right. The only fan, Tom. <laughs> well, anyhow, my special is on Amazon right now. I didn't mess up the opening fucking word. I think. I said my I'm name. just gonna keep saying it throughout the whole thing. He's not sad. He's looking at himself on the monitor. When you speak directly to people, you should speak directly to them in the thing. You don't have to put your head up that high. You just you can use your eyes to look. Can you? <laughs> Do you understand how to look at a fucking camera? It's the weirdest thing. I've never met somebody so desperate to be famous that can't look in a camera. Who said I Most people are like, they make love to the camera. Uh, not rich. He can't even figure uh, out where it is. Don't say I'm desperate to be famous. I'm already famous. Okay. Well, somebody who loves the spotlight. Is that better? I've never met anyone who loved the spotlight more that has no idea where a camera is at any given time. Like, are you kidding me? I know what I'm doing when I'm being filmed. I'm good. Well, let's see it now. If you're good, let's see it now. When you talk about your special, let's 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 see how good you are. <laughs> let's see it. I want to see it. What? I'm not auditioning for you. No, no. But but if you're good, why wouldn't you do it now? Why isn't this light on? Uh, okay. huh? By the way, everyone knows this. When he's I'm, when he feels like he's in a corner. No, I'm not. Distraction. I'm just saying. He's, he put the lights on, so he did, chose not to put that one on. I didn't put it on. You had the clicker. See if it works. No, because the back is probably turned off. Uh, oh, how do you? Let's see. Oh, no, I turned that one off. Oh, boy. Where's the back? Is that it? There's something not turning. No, it's just a flick. Where? Okay, don't worry about it. There you go. See? God, I got to do everything. Uh, oh, my special. Everybody says it's great. They love it. But I opened up. I, well, go, you got, what? I thought you were good at doing it. They're like this. What? Hey, guys, Rich just filmed a special. Everyone says it's fantastic. He wants you to go see it. It's... Got some side. Yeah, but this is what you're doing. Everyone says, my, <laughs> it's like you're blind. Are you blind? Is that what it is? You're blind, but you're not telling anyone? No one knows? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But I did open up and I said. What, why won't you do it? If I'm you told it. me that you're good at it, I'm do good. it. You're, it's going to pop out. Button to button. Richard, I'm not looking relax. out for you. If your breast pops out, it'll be. It's all the only there. way I can get you to not look at the monitor. Hold on, let me get my haircut today. I got a lot to do. So, but I did. Oh, I opened up and I won't. Hi, Richard. I'm an addict instead of addict with a T. Addict. Some people already wrote. I'm a basement. <laughs> Some funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> there, is that but better? I like it sexier the other way, come to think of it. So, I mean, it's on Amazon. Uh, maybe in January, I'm going to go on a promotion tour. That's when I'm available to go to places in January. So, why didn't you say addict when you said it? I just sat down and go addict, you know, quick. So, I probably, you know. Yeah, because you don't care. Well, I know I don't care. You don't care about words, and you're always like, who cares? They know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they do. I mean, the whole special people say it's great. People go, the opening sent chills into some people from what you directed to me sitting down in front of all the coffee pots and signs mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, the every, start of an AA meeting. I've never even been to one. But. People, people really like this special. I, it's so weird because... I didn't ever watch the whole thing, I don't think. I, I couldn't do that. So I took Frank's word that they, you know, Frank knows how to edit. So we'll see. Amazon, Rich Voss Anonymous. RichVo.com. What? 
Rich Vaughn is anonymous. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. It's Rich Vaughn. Are you trying what? to be funny? Are you what? Trying, are you it doesn't matter. They trying? know what I'm talking about. Oh, whoa. Look at little callback Sally. You see my post last night? Kind of funny. Do you think that I did? No, but I put a picture of Fred Flintstone. I go, the only good thing out of everything is if Rosie moves out of the country. Why don't you like Rosie? Well, the fact that in front of one of my friends, she said, I hate Jews. That's oh. what my friend told me. That's what my friend told me. And we didn't say Rosie's last name, so it doesn't matter. But the, By the way, he doesn't care if you know who he's talking about. He doesn't want to get sued by Rosie Barboopy. <laughs> Rosie Barboopy? I, I mean. Wanna, what if there's a Rosie Barboopy? <laughs> well, my this is allegedly a friend told me she said that in front of her. I hate Jews. So my friend, I don't think, would make this up. And she's so super-duper-duper pro-Palestinian, which is okay. It's okay if you're, you know, you could be pro-Palestinian, but anti-Jew, you don't have to be that. Right, I agree. So uh, I'm not a fan. Eh, anyhow, who cares? She means nothing to me in the big scheme of things. You know what I'm saying? You know. And plus, you know, if she moved, you know, I'm sure her barber would be upset. I use that joke on uh, Gutfeld, her, bar her barber. Oh. You get it? Yeah, because she's got a manly haircut. See, you, see, you're smart. You get comedy. You get comedy. <laughs> you're saying? <laughs> I, I was telling a friend the other day that that's what you used to tell people all the time when we first met. Like You get it. She gets it. I'd overhear you being like, she gets it. And it's like, please stop telling people. It's like, I'm a comedian. Of course I get it. Like, uh, she gets it. It's like, but it puts you in such a position of power. Um, This little lady. <laughs> yeah. This little lady gets it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I was tapping that. It's so weird, like, how many men don't, like... I don't marrying a funny woman is not on the top of their list. Whereas like for women, marrying a funny guy is like an important thing. We should do a show like that. We'll call it. Would, would you, you bang, bang him? him? You can't call it. Would you bang him? But you call it. Would you date him? Yeah. Why can't you? That's, that's what Chris told me that, that that's one of the reasons why people are like, eh. Like, would you do name. him? Would you do him? Would you blow him? Would you suck his fucking hiney? <laughs> would would you straw? eat his ass? <laughs> Great. Well, that's the podcast. Last Thank night's you. show was fun. That was a really fun show. We've been doing shows sometimes at, at TIFF's. TIFFs. Dojo Comedy. Dojo Comedy. I'll be there on the 20th. Get your tickets. Um, I've heard of other comedians like selling out many shows there. It's Not like, me. I better sell out one. Let's go. <laughs> I've only got this podcast to promote it, so. <laughs> All right. So, Anthony Rogers, head down there. Okay. Did we lose him, too? No. He's on Instagram. No. Oh. I didn't know this one comic who's open for me a few times in Vegas sells out. He's got, like, 12 million views, you said, on Instagram and yeah. I'm like, whoa, these guys come out of nowhere with their fucking comedy. They put, they, they. His clips are all like. Viral? Racy crowd work. Oh. Racy. You know, some, very funny, a lot of it. Misdirection, but it's very funny stuff. But 12, I didn't know he was getting that many views. Good for him. And people go, what's his name? Well, look it up. Find it. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to say his name? Quindale. Good guy, I guess. I don't know him like that. I worked with him in Vegas. I you are the worst, Quindale. though. Like I'm not. No, I don't. 
I'm not discouraged or. But you're so scared that somebody will call you and be like, I don't think he's funny. So you can't completely 100% oh, no, endorse him. So somebody calls me and says, I don't think he's funny. That's their opinion. Like, well, then why are you being so cagey? I'm a cagey guy today. Today, I woke up and go, be a little cagey. Oh, I forgot to pray this morning. I always pray at night, but I always forget in the morning. For You know. You pray? I thank God for keeping me sober another day. You know, and protecting my family. Okay. You know. You're religious? No. Spiritual. Oh, that's worse than religious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but nobody wants to hear that about their husband. <laughs> it's like, okay, so I guess you're leaving me for a man. <laughs> what does that got to do with spiritual? I don't get it. I'm just fucking around. I wouldn't leave you. I would just have two relationships. No, you wouldn't leave me. There would be no, it would be so bad for what you. What would be bad? If I left you? Man, you don't think I know how to handle my life? Who I think you'd survive. I'm not saying you, you would it'd die. Be, you think it would be easy for you? The second one thing broke here, you would call me. I, I, no, because I can hire people to do it. No, uh, but you really, can't hire people to do the emotional heavy lifting that I do around here. <laughs> you really think you're great. <laughs> what? I am. How many times has Raina taken my side when we have arguments? That's fine. That's, that's healthy. Let her do it. Yeah. I like when she does it. Yeah, so do I. I know you do. I see your little... My little what? You and her, suddenly you're buddies and. We're always buddies. You're, you're like, she's like this, right? <laughs> what? You're mentally incapable of being normal. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, why would you say that? Let me look into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking big head. I can't. And you're not. So. We watch, what? we watch a whole season of The Diplomat together. Great show with Kerry Russell. Then season two came out. I go, you're going to watch it? She goes, nah. Who does that? No, no. Can I set the scene for you? So we went out, had a nice night, okay? We went to TIFFs. We both did stand-up. We both did well. We talked to Joey uh, um, um, Diaz. It was a good, fun do you only work with Joey's? I only work with Joey's. <laughs> and uh, then then drive home, everything's good, no fights, nothing, totally fine. He's had 87 dinners from Tiff's. I had an appetizer and two fish tacos. Which he couldn't stop being like, whoa, I ordered too much. It's like, just sh settle down. He's it like- look a lot. Yeah, because he was not worried about people much, coming in and looking at him. Not as much as Aaron Berg ordered. He ordered two. He ordered uh, uh, a chicken tenders, then some other shrimp toast and ribs. Holy shit! Yeah, mm -hmm. I should call him now and go. Do you think you ordered too much food at Tiff's last night? I mean, let's call him. No, 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 no. We're in the middle of something. Then we'll call. ADHD. So, th so. Everything's totally fine, okay? Come in, get I, I, I get everything ready for the morning, da da da. Go to I go lay in bed, I'm scrolling a little. Um, oh, I had to finish something on my computer. I had to do, do some email. And he walks in. Oh, okay, yeah. And he goes, Do you never answer your phone? He's furious. When I say Rich has That's not true. maybe two levels which is getting frustrated and gritting through his teeth and telling you he's frustrated there. And then somebody's kidnapped my kids. Those are the only two levels. So he came in at somebody's kidnapped the kids and you uh, won't answer your phone. That's the, le keep in mind, he's next door in the next okay. room. Okay. He's, 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 he's one, that's opening the door. One, two, three steps. Now he's in my room. Okay. That's how angry he was because I had turned my phone off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
how dare you and whatever. And then he goes, do you want to watch The Diplomat? No, I didn't. I said, are you going to watch? Because you said earlier. Oh, yeah. No, he goes, are you going to watch The Diplomat this season? Like that. Like yeah, so no. aggressive, angry, mad, Earl, angry. Earlier. So I just said, no. no. I, there was no possible way I wanted to get out of my nice, comfy bed, walk downstairs okay. with Mr. Not Fun Person and watch a show with him. Okay. So there, let me. Uh, you, her key word just now is, I don't want to get out of my comfy bed. Okay. Right. Okay. I would have if I if, okay. if, if it looked like it could have been a, a good time, but right. it did not seem like it was going to be a good time. Okay, so now let me rebuttal, okay? Oh, nobody uses the word rebuttal. Oh, yeah, when they were talking court. Uh, Bonnie called me or texted me about something stupid again last night <laughs> like what look. what was it you want me to look yeah yeah something stupid yeah i'm sure it was hold on don't don't be uh okay your stomach is growling i'm so hungry uh where what like, do you what time is the podcast tomorrow no. or something no what's that no see oh you called me so i don't remember you called in there oh boy she called me, right? Mm -hmm. Called me. So now I want to see if she wants to watch a diplomat with me. Mm -hmm. So I call her. But you would have well, to get up on. to go downstairs anyway. No, I was watching it in my room, and I didn't want to start it. So you didn't want to watch with me anyway. No, 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 no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, this is when she's scrambling. I have her in a corner. <laughs> I not scrambling, I okay. promise you. Okay. I promise you. So this she, is why we should do the podcast from now on. Look how big you look compared to me. Uh, <laughs> she called me about something stupid, and I answered her. And then I, I see The Diplomat on Netflix, and before I start to watch it in my room, I c call her and and to see if she wants to do season two with me because a couple of weeks ago she goes oh, i don't want to watch season two but i don't know why she said that because we liked the show it got so dumb at the end no so anyhow i remember her saying it that. was like good in the beginning and then remember it got so fucking stupid i remember her saying that a couple weeks ago but i wanted to make sure so mm -hmm. i called her she wouldn't answer and i had to get out of my comfortable bed i was so comfortable but i already said i wouldn't so you could have just you you had every right to just start watching it and then if i was like hey i was gonna watch it with you, you go no remember you told me no 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 it. i see that's not what a considerate person does oh the, a considerate person marches into your okay. room and yells at you what mother cuts her phone off or first father? of all reina has a uh an emergency bypass so if she calls me it rings i don't have one well, maybe you're not a good dad. No. First of all, how do you set it up? Well, I'm not going to well, – you want me to tell you right now here on the podcast? No, just look it up later. Google it. First you're of all, the way that he operates – on social media, even to get it. Oh, I thought you he, talked about it in the operating room. No, like he, the doctor. He, he – <laughs> I never give anesthesia. He – I can't when I when I when he sets up the podcast so we have to like click a zoom and and then our our um producer does everything for us. Yeah, you go to Gmail and then get click the thing. He go the way he, he engine searches Gmail every time. Yeah, how else? Uh, many other ways. Yeah, you, know, you can have it set up where it just automatically comes up every time you open your computer. That's you can put it in the the bar, so you don't have to go. You, I you're, don't you're putting in a you're putting in a Google search, and then you're putting it into the Google search. Then you're clicking it. Then you're signing in. Yeah, so you I can make it so that it just automatically opens up. No, that's not it's true. It's such a bizarre. Oh really? I don't. <clears throat> Whoa, there's a lot of things you can do in life. And there's a lot of other ways to do them in life. It, but it, this is it's this what's is, easier. This is a great you. thing about Rich is that even when you know many times I've been like, "Hey, you can just do it this way, gently," because I understand that he hates learning. Oh yeah. And 
even now you see that he goes, no, I'll do it my way. He will do something the hard way with gritted teeth. It's not hard. It's not hard. He'll do it the hard way. He won't learn something new because he doesn't, I don't know what it is. He doesn't want to give in to me. I don't know what it is. What's one of Sinatra's? Biggest, You'll do it your famous, way. Famous song. Yeah, but you, you, Sinatra doesn't go. I'll do it my way, a much harder way than the normal way, with like way more clicks. <laughs> that, it's my way. Is that uh, real? Oh, look oh. at and she leans in like she's killing. <laughs> she leans in. Like, it's probably a clip. <laughs> um, by the way, once again, just as a reminder, his head is down, not because I'm being mean to him. He's looking at himself in the monitor. Joey Cola. Zoe, Zoe. He thinks I'm just sitting there like. Let me see, Let me see something. Uh, hold on. God damn. I don't know why that keeps doing it. And, well, don't learn. Don't figure it out. Oh, shit. I want to give Joey. I got to get Joey Cola's number. Give him a call. Um, now, who are you calling, Aaron Burke? No, I was going to call Joey Cola, but let's call Aaron. Why well, you don't have Joey Cola's number? No, that's weird. Hey, Rich, what's up? Hello? Hey, it's Rich Voss and Bonnie McFarlane doing our podcast, and you're on speakerphone. Yeah, how are you? Good. Are you on the toilet? Golf course. Okay, real quick. Uh, do you think you ordered a lot of food last night? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got chicken tenders, mozzarella sticks, and then I did a very rich boss thing where I got an order to go because it was complimentary, <laughs> and I'll feed my kid lunch. I look at it like a government program over at this. Free lunch for kids. Yeah, that's that's smart. Like when I go to the cellar, I might have wings there and get something to go for the next day for my daughter. Yeah, I saw you do that, and now uh, I emulated that. It's like sitting on the stool. You know, I did that for a while because you did that first. Well, you're allowed to. I see comics that sit on a stool that do not. Uh, they haven't earned the right to sit. Who on the stool gave yet. you the right? Who gave me the yeah. right? Years of doing comedy. And, and proven I'm... But you think everyone under 15 years is an open micer. Like, That's you don't correct. realize time goes by. Yeah, well, they are. <laughs> they are to me. No, he's like Sam Morell, open micer. No. You know? <laughs> uh, what's the name of this podcast? My wife loves me today. No, she hates me. And I got to dig up Joey Cola's phone number somehow. Uh, uh, ask him about food at clubs? No, oh, no, he uh, he was sticking up for me when he worked with Bonnie about our podcast, how mean Bonnie is to me. Oh, yeah, I agree. A lot of men think that because <laughs> a lot of men are fucking pussies. Yeah, I agree. All right, what are you playing? Oh, you think your wife is mean to you, right? Yeah, my wife's really mean to me. Well, what does she do that's so mean? Talks. <laughs> Doesn't constantly be like, you're amazing, you're the best, you're so great. <laughs> She's so mean. She says, I refuse to mother you. She ah. rub my neck. My neck's been sore for five days, she won't rub it. Mm. <laughs> well. Bonnie's neck is sore, she won't blow me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to tee you off. I okay. love you guys. Bye. Uh, That's the guy. <laughs> your wife won't blow you. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god! Like, do you think a girl to sit around like she won't go down on you? <laughs> no, <laughs> women when they're together are like lying about how great their husbands are. What's that? They're just lying. Oh really? My husband, he's so nice. You're like bullshit. That's not true. Oh, here, he might have it. It doesn't matter. I want to call him. I haven't talked to him in years. Okay, this is... I mean, All right, keep going. Sorry. No, I'm not going to keep going. What? Uh, you keep going. Uh, what? Sorry, I'm doing two things at once. This is how he is when he's driving, by the way. How do you spell cola? K-O... I don't know, L-A.
Um, yesterday, we got in a fight a little bit on the way home because oh, wow. Rich decided to use his phone while he was exiting the turnpike. First of all, we were on a turn, but we were on 287. Okay, I didn't and know. entering it, not exiting it. Okay. Exiting. But you know where it's like a big circle? It's a half a, it's a turn. And he it's was a, like, no. Dri driving with his head. It's like, what? Big deal. Are you kidding me? Why Remember you, you were like getting your dick out, trying to show me you could drive with your dick? <laughs> Everybody who wants to know why this podcast is about to fucking crash and burn. What's the new name for our podcast? We're going to have a marriage counselor, maybe some other couples, you know, revamp it. Take it to another level. Fix our relationship. Let's look at when They said January Wednesdays. What date should we look at? What are you talking about? When to start it. Wednesday in January. I say the 15th. January 15th. Well, you'll be in charge of the podcast. Okay, that's going to be your new thing. So every day you go, podcast, I got to get some gas, I got to do what I got to do, then golf. Okay? Wait. Every day, podcast, then golf. Podcast, then golf. Next. Oh, I got to check my emails. I got to got ads. I got to get those ads ready. The podcast is now your domain. Nick, okay? Nick you can come on. I got to ask you a question. Save my marriage. It should be. Oh, that call it that. Save my marriage. Yeah. No. Why not? Because I I imagine myself going on stage and it's like, please welcome Bonnie McFarlane. Oh, she has a podcast. Save my marriage. How, it's just like horrifying that I would go on after that and be like, well, who here is married? Uh, you know, it's like, what am I a fucking some kind of speaker uh, no i'm not doing it it's got to be like cunt shit piss or <laughs> <laughs> Wait. hit me where it hurts something that's like you know nick where's nick our producer he's not listening to this i'm he's... here oh i have a question for you can you, you hear me yes yeah he, he could hear you <laughs> if he couldn't hear you that would be like such a problem <laughs> You're a producer. Now, when we start our podcast from the studio in New York, mm -hmm. they go, we have to approve the engineer. Are you also oh. an engineer? Are you also an engineer besides a producer, or do we get you produce and then we get the engineer up that they use? I'm not, I'm not an engineer. Well, what studio are you using? The... The one above the cellar. Comedy Cellar Studios. And and um, could you come in on Wednesdays? That's the thing that he's not saying. Would you be able to come to actually be there? Wednesday. If it's every, if it's every Wednesday, yeah, I could do that. At 8 p.m. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m.? Yeah, yeah, we'd give you a little bump. Sure, I could okay. do that. Um, I've worked in that studio before, but it was like... Uh, What's it like? I learned how to use the boards and everything like a long time ago. So, like, yeah. honestly, just a refresher, and then I can engineer for you, like, after that. You know? All right. Well, wait. Sounds good. Can you engineer and produce at the same time? I mean, what what do you want? Well, producing yeah, is just laying. Huh? <laughs> producing is just laying on the couch listening to us. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Absolutely. Whatever you need. All right. So, how do we? How do they approve? It? Liz goes. We have to approve. All right. Well, I'm going to say Well, that he's already been there. He's done it before there. Who did you do it for? I um I sat in on one of Bobby's sessions and I was with the when we were with the laugh button. I would um do it okay. with Matt and uh, what's called Mike Suarez was there. He taught me how to do a lot of it. Oh. Uh -huh. So, so you've already been approved. So, just tell him he's already done it there. She'll be like, "Oh, okay." He's well, approved. he can't just he still needs somebody to Help him go through. Well, Mike Suarez time. can come for the first couple times and show him how to do it. All right, thank you. We don't need to be doing this on the podcast. Yeah, no problem. Uh oh. Well, what the hell? No one will get back to me. Hey, do you have Joey Kohler's phone number? <laughs> no. No. Well, let me see. Are you out? Are you done? We can quit. We don't have to do the whole thing. 
a few more minutes. You have nothing that you want to talk to me about? I talked about my special. I talked about. Right, but do you, you have know. anything about our relation? So you want to do a, 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 a podcast solely about relationships and fixing a relationship, but you never want to talk about it unless I bring something up and then you go, you do it. You would get mad at me if I did it. Or you'd always just flip it. You never have a thing where you go. Be, and, and, and the reason why. Oh. Oh, that's Google Calendar. Is because why? Why do you think that is? Why well, do you think you never have a fight with me about things that you want me to do? I, I, you think, first of all, you think everything I tell you, you do. You don't. You don't. I may, I may not always do it, but I don't have a, I don't have a visceral reaction where we then have a fight. Like last night when you came in and you were mad and you clearly wanted to have a fight, I, didn't want to I have just a very fight. calmly said, oh, my phone was turned off. What do you need? And then you wouldn't calm down. So I just said, no, I, I, you go ahead and watch it by yourself. That's fine. And then you left. There's no fight. Now, things have been reversed. Well, I'm not, I don't have to answer my phone just because you're calling me. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Then there's a fight. I didn't take the bait. I wasn't trying to have a fight. I was just saying. I de-escalated. You weren't trying to have a fight. No. What did you think? Okay, so let's let's back it up. Now, this is the podcast that you want to do, by the way. So let's just, hey, if you don't want to do it, I won't do it either. But it's you want it to be something about relationships. So well, get ready to talk about your relationship. Now, when you, when I wasn't answering the phone, yes. what happened in your body? What Cortisol happened? Cortisol started rising. What You're like, it? I'm going to have to get out of bed. Yeah, it was. It was the yeah. things are not happening the way that I want them to. That's not true. It's just, you know, most people, when you wanted to talk to me, your phone was on. But now when I want to talk to you, your phone's off. So I think that's a little selfish. My phone wasn't off. My ringer is always off. Well, that's. Uh, okay, so yeah, so that's upsetting to you. I'm probably and, not going to change and, that. And if life. I had my ringer off and you had to get up to ask me whatever you asked me, you would have been. You, I, you've walked into my room many times. This upset. is what I'd say to a counselor. I'd say, what's what's that? The the deflection, the only mad at me. Because no, the I'm truth is, is that, that actually is not true. I would yell at you to pick up your phone. <laughs> Or I would get up and go open your door, which I do. You told me one time, don't yell at me through the door. So now, I do you notice you. when I go to talk to you, I always go in there? Do you come in angry sometimes? Yes or no? Not very often. I can't remember the last time I've been angry. It's this podcast. <laughs> But I, I do try to de-escalate. There's a, there's a lot of de- No, don't deflect. deflect Stay with that. it. Stay with no, it. Relax. What was going on in your head? This is the podcast you want to do. <laughs> no. Fix my marriage. Yeah, let's call it Fix My Marriage. Uh, and we have my friends come on and we all talk about asshole shit. What's that? I mean, I don't know, but like... Stop. Uh, Please stop texting while we're doing the podcast. I mean, come on. I'm sorry. It's if good. you don't want to do a podcast about emotional life, I do. Then to. there's no sense. There's no other fixing the marriage part to it. Yes. That's it. The only part is you have to start acknowledging your emotions. So do you. I, okay. <laughs> One of the things that you have to stop doing is just pointing the finger. Why? What does that mean? Because five are pointing, four are pointing back at you. Three are. You're Three. stupid. <laughs> well, I could. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I, I, I forgot. I shouldn't call you stupid. Oh, this might be the phone number. Oh, no. God damn it. Okay. So... When you have an emotional reaction like that, you go, why am I getting so mad about something so stupid? I, I'll either, what are my choices here? My choice is to just watch the show, not care about her, to yell at her through the wall to pick up her phone, uh, no. or to get up and say, hey, do you want to watch the show with me? How does it help to get up and start yelling about the phone thing? Well, you know what? It doesn't help, but you know what? After... I'm not going to turn on my I'm not going to turn After my phone. And you know times? why? Because anytime I've ever had my phone on, I get beep boop bop every single time you go, "Who's that? What's that? Who's that? What's that?" No. Answer that. Either. Anytime I get a phone call from somebody I don't want to answer, you go, "Answer it." 
So this will be like an unknown caller. Answer it. <laughs> so I don't want that. You're not gonna have so that does it through the wall? You'll hear my phone ring. Who is it? Who now, are you talking to? Now she's lying and exaggerating. Like, well, you, everybody knows her exaggeration problem. We all know that. But, you know, after years and years, like, she'll call me, then I'll call right back, and she won't answer. Do you know how aggravating that is? Okay. Is but that why, aggravating? But why, but why is it aggravating? Was it that important? Because there no, are any time. Like, you don't whatever. think that there's times when you're not always 100% available? Yeah, if I called you. No, many, you many times right we, we switch. you call me right back? No, there's lots of times you're golfing. You'll call me. I'll call you right back. You won't be, you'll leave your car. You'll, you'll, get, you'll go um, into a store and you'll leave your car, phone in the car or whatever excuse that you use when you're behind Walmart. Oh, God, when I'm banging some bitch. Bitch? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to get some pussy. Is that what you're calling when two balls are dangling in your face? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he'll be doing later. Choking on some fucking meat sandwich. Oh. I don't, is it cock ever called a meat sandwich? <laughs> Ew. All right. Well, we'll pick this up. No, 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 no. I got it. We got to go. No, no, no. Yes, no, yes, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. You what? want to do a podcast about marriage. What is it that you think we're going to talk about? Yeah, different subjects with a counselor. What so. do you think that the counselor is going to say to you? They say, why did you get so mad? And I would say, why? I just right, answered. Right, right. But answered. now, do you think that that was worth it? Was it worth all that? And then you had to watch the show by yourself? Kind of, yeah. Or is it what you wanted in the first place? No, I didn't. I mean, some shows I like to watch by myself because then I don't have to. I could do two episodes a night if I Bonnie's always nowadays, and she used to be two or three episodes. Now she's always one episode, and, oh, I got to go to bed. Like I don't like wasting my whole fucking life. You used to watch three shows times in a row. Yeah, I did. All right, so, and then she became like, Oh, this is the time I'll spend with you one show, and that's it. And then she flies away to go scroll like he's a little a, He's kid. not the most fun person to fucking hang out with. I gotta be honest with you. I mean, <laughs> what do you it's have? like he's like complaining about like it's just it's it's not fun. It's, it's there's no joy. I don't in complain when we're watching the show downstairs. <laughs> do I? Yeah, it, it's your. I don't, I want you, I've asked you to do this before. Just notice what comes out of your mouth. Like, just actually notice it and put it into an, a one or a zero, you know, binary code it. And, you know, a zero is negative, a one is positive, And just see how many ones and how many zeros you're getting. All right, but can you not use binary code anymore? That's a zero. <laughs> That's a zero. Do you see? I'm not saying you don't ever have zeros. All right. But please do me a favor. Under the table, rub my penis on my pants. Uh, zero. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Negative. Well, uh, next weekend, no, next Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll be at the Black Box Theater in Boca next Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Thanksgiving weekend, I'll be at Kimmel's Comedy Club in Las Vegas. Bonnie's coming up at TIFF's, right? December 20th. It's just quite a ways away. But oh, it is. Just get your tickets early. What the fuck? <laughs> right? That's what I'm Why saying. Why not? <laughs> Want me to play with your titty? Okay. Uh, I don't, I'm never going to wear a flannel, a flannel button Who's down. Flan again. Is that my flannel? I gave it to you, right? Yeah. No. Wait, that's why <laughs> I gave you that? No. No? <laughs> Look how small it is. Do you really think this is yours? You're, like, I buy flannels, but now you're buying them because I buy them? This is... Okay. What? I don't know what to do with this information. It's like, he just... Uh, it's your flannel. You bought it. Everything no, I have is because of you. Thank you so much. That's not mine, but I do have flannels. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, go The down. next thought experiment you'll do is how many times you have... To, everything has to go through your brain... And back to you, like every every road leads back to Rich Voss. I've said it before; I'll say it again. But 
What? It's, this encapsulates it so perfectly. We were watching a movie that time, and you go, I sit like that. <laughs> I just go, wow, he's doing that non like that's his brain all the time. Like, no wonder you have anxiety. I don't have anxiety. It's just constantly about you. You're just constantly like like you can't just release and escape. If you're watching someone do something, you're like you're like putting into terms of if you could do it or not do it, if you do it or don't do it, mm -hmm. if you could get the girl or not get the girl, if that's what you would say or not what you would say. Mm -hmm. Is it true? Okay, welcome to our marriage podcast where the person who wants the Fix My Marriage podcast will not participate. No, we're going to pick I pick it up next week. We've already talked a lot and done a lot and gone over a lot. You know, what the fuck? I mean, <laughs> you can only give these people so much and get nothing in return. Yeah, I feel that. Oh, really? Who's going to go work on the birdhouse <laughs> and the fucking... Bird it's feeder. so easy just to get this like here here it goes starts rising do, 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 uh -huh. do. it's only a matter of time yeah really uh, uh, water filters put in thank you what else recently got the leaves you're good up. you're good enough you don't have to list the stuff you're good enough say uh, good enough or better than good enough no good enough is the thing you're supposed to say about yourself i'm good enough that that oh, way yeah. that you, I, i'm good enough just being on the planet you're good enough mm -hmm. then you can go over and above if you like the problem is not thinking you're good enough so then you got lit you got like constantly like <laughs> fill tell Get attention. You're good enough. Oh. That's what we should call the podcast. Good enough. Oh, yeah. Good enough. Because I have enough in life. Like, people go, oh, the, look at this person's doing that, doing that. Don't you wish? I go, I have enough. I have a great life. I have enough, right? We absolutely do. That's what we should call it. I have enough. Uh Goodbye. Wait, what? What's wrong? Please welcome Byron McFarlane with the podcast, I Have Enough. Hello, everyone. I'd like to first say you have enough. Hi, this is Ted Talker, Bonnie McFarlane. You're the worst at titles. Yeah. I, it, you're, you know what it is? You take yourself so seriously sometimes. It's like, I have enough. What a great podcast. Some people don't, and we can talk to them. Like, good enough is funny because it's like, it it also it also plays back the other way where it's, you're being a little like sarcastic about yourself, like good enough. I have enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Was I put on this planet to just? Well, why was I here? like? Why was I told to marry you? I don't understand it. I have yet to figure it out. Okay, thanks everybody. My Wife Hates Me podcast, hosted and created by Rich Voss and Bonnie McFarlane, produced by Nick Collette. Find us wherever you get your podcasts. This jackass Jew. Some people say that opposites attract, but this seems more like a suicide pact. He's totally sober. She's not that drunk. He's really old and she's got some spunk. He's totally holy as an asinine bum and she's just a little less dumb. She really hates him. It's really true. But somewhere deep down, she loves him too.